Hello friends, welcome to Mechanical Engineering Online Classes. Today's lecture will be delivered by Ms. Shravani Sri Ramoj. In this session, let us understand what is scheduling problem in operations research. Sequencing is nothing but to choose the right order or appropriate order in which the jobs must be done or a waiting customer may be served. There are several waiting customers. So whom to serve first, how to serve them? Or if there are many jobs to be done, which job should be done first? So keeping in mind the effectiveness measure, the effectiveness measure may be time, cost and so on. So within the shortest time possible or within with the minimum cost possible, we have to complete all the jobs and which order will give this optimum sequence with the minimum time or minimum cost will be the sequencing problem. So there are two types of sequencing problems. One is the flow shop scheduling. The other is the job shop scheduling. Sequencing is nothing but scheduling. Flow shop scheduling is a term used when the jobs, every job is having the same processing order. Same processing order means all the jobs will have same processing order only in product layout. That means for example, for a given outcome, for a given product, say our job should first go to a turning machine and then to the milling machine say for example. All the jobs, no matter how many jobs are there, they all should first go to turning machine. Once the job is done on turning machine, then they will go to milling machine and then they are out. So this is what a product layout is. The processing order is same for all the jobs. And if there are say n number of jobs, so which job should go first onto the machine? turning machine and then milling machine if job number five has to go first so this will first go to turning machine then it will go to milling machine then after five there is job number three that has to go then after five three will go to turning machine and then to milling machine the processing order is same for all the jobs right so to find the appropriate order in which the jobs may be sent to these machines is called as flow shop scheduling in case the processing order is same for all the jobs that comes under flow shop scheduling. Now coming to the second type job shop scheduling. Job shop scheduling means it's a job shop. Job shop means every job is having a different processing order. That means this comes for a process layout. Say for example there are many different machines. There is a milling machine here, a drilling machine here, a planar machine here. A turning machine is here, a boring machine here say. So every job need not go through the same sequence of operations. So if this is job 1, this is job 2. Job 2 may first go to drilling machine, then turning machine, then planar machine and it is out. Job 1 may need milling machine, then turning machine, then the drilling, then planar, then boring and then out. So every job may have a different processing order. So this is possible in a process layout and finding the best or optimal sequence so as to minimize the total time or cost. Finding that best sequence is called as job shop scheduling. Let us see some of the most common analytical methods. The first one being n jobs one machine. So finding the best sequence for n jobs that has to be processed on a single machine. So this is one kind of problem. The second problem may be there are n jobs and must be processed on two machines. And the third one is n jobs that, are, that need to be processed on three machines. m jobs may be needed to be processed on some m number of machines also. But these are the common models and all this come under the flow shop scheduling where all the jobs will have same processing order pertaining to a product. So that such layout is called as a product layout. 
the fourth model may be two jobs to be processed on m machines m number of machines and more a general method is n jobs to be processed on m machines so this come under the job shop scheduling that means each job will have its own or a different processing order and that is possible in a process layout so before we begin with how to solve these problems let us check out the common assumptions in solving any sequencing problem the first assumption is that only one operation is carried out on a machine at a particular time so the machine under consideration is able to do only one job at a time the second one is that each operation once started must be completed so we are assuming that if a job is operated upon a machine then it will be completed and only then leave that machine the third one is an operation must be completed before its succeeding operation can start this talks about the operate uh, the processing order like here we have seen if job 1 should first go to milling then turning and, and then to the planar and it is going out then we cannot do planar first so if the order is mtp after processing on m it should go to t and after t only it should go to p if there is any problem with t or m it will be waiting but unless otherwise it is done with m it will not go to t after m only it will go to t and after t it will go to p so the processing order is strictly maintained that is a third assumption the fourth one is that only one machine of each type is available so if there is a milling machine there is only one milling machine there are no multiple milling machines so if there is a lathe machine only one lathe machine is there so only one machine of each type is available is the fourth and very important assumption then the fifth one is a job is processed at the earliest but in the order specified say for example fifth job is going first then fourth job should go for example this is a milling machine this is turning machine both should go with milling after uh, first milling and then turning so first they should go to m then to t so fifth job is processed it is in milling so fourth job will also be joining but only in the order specified means after five only should come four so after five is completed only four will go because five is at uh, m four will not go to t or another milling machine we don't have any second we, we don't have second machine of the same type and we cannot violate the processing orders four will come after five this is the job order and all these job should go first to milling and then to turning is a processing order no order must be violated that is the fifth point the sixth assumption is that the processing times are independent of the order in which it goes to different machines means irrespective of whether it is going first to milling or then turning or drilling the time that it takes on milling machine is fixed it does not depend on whether it is first going to milling or turning so the processing timings are independent of the order of performing the operations and seventh most important point is that the or transportation time from it traveling between different machines is not counted that means if a milling machine is here turning machine is here some drilling machine is here so the time taken between the travel from milling to turning or turning to drilling or milling to drilling this is not counted this is not considered they are considered to be negligible so that is a seventh assumption and the last assumption is that the in process inventory cost is negligibly small for all the jobs so these are the eight assumptions that are important to solve sequencing problems thanks for watching if this video was of help to you please like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel